Hello, Luna here, and this will be a um, little different video uh, that I will make to explain my builds and um, how I tackle bosses. So, first thing first, um, this is how my character is built at level 112. I have uh, a lot of stats to boost my my weapons, which are katana and uh, at the moment I believe it is a uh, spear. So um, it is okay this way. I have already talked about how to uh, allot your points, but um, it is important that you unlock the mystic for ninja before going to a low dex build because it will give you the extra the extra skill points to get what you need from that tree from the ninja skill tree anyways um my stats are mainly to boost my my weapons my first two weapons so i mainly use katana so i have a lot of earth a lot of skill all right now let's get into the first fight of the video So here is Ishida Mitsunari, the boss in a, a defiled holy mountain. My technique for the boss is um, to give them sloth and to lower their armor. Once this is done, I just need to sneak behind them and uh, use my bonus damage from behind that I get from my gear, from my clan, Kobayakawa and um, from the passives I could get. So Kusarigama gives me around plus 12% from behind and um, the sword mythic gives me another 10 or 15%. I am not sure yet exactly. But I do more damage from behind. It is not safe. And that's about it. The fight was made easy just from that. In the second fight, this is the boss of uh, the samurai from Sawayama, the longest mission in the game. His name is the Dark Samurai, to the people that don't know him, but to most of people that look into Japanese history, his name is Yasuke, the real black samurai. He existed. So um, I use the same tactic, slow and um, armor down, and it makes the fight very easy. It is indeed called a cheese by a lot of people, but it doesn't work all the time, and it does take a bit of thought and of giving up. In this third fight, this is the second time we face Otani Yuchitsugu. And um, he's a tricky one because this tactic doesn't really work on him that well. He's faster than anything you have fought in, the g in this game. And he has a lot of dashes. Plus, he has 360 degrees attacks like this kick but make it hard for you to decide where is his back and where is his front. I have to advise you to kill him fast though. In the last mission you get to fight again the four first bosses and um, it is just a way to show you how far you've come from the beginning. This is Onryoki I think it took 10 or so seconds to get him down. This is uh, Ino Enma, which uh, with this tactic is a joke too. I am buffing a lot, but I could have just run into her and killed her right away. However, as you can see, Sloth Talisman is godly and uh, the um, defense down is even more amazing when you use it well. This is the um, spider boss, Joe Gumo, that I killed on, Steam, on stream, so I don't have um, 
a comparison video to make just yet. However, getting behind her with defense down will once again prove to be impressively effective. And as for the fourth boss, no, is um, I noticed some interesting things about slow talisman. It turns out it even slows the lighting, so don't hesitate to use it on it too. And this is about it for this video, I hope you liked it, I hope you will give my build a try, give it a like if you like, and subscribe for more. See you.